The third type is Saving and Retirement Insurance Actuary or Superannuation Actuary. Actuaries are well qualified to advise on pension scheme issues, especially about the potential benefit payments, scheme liabilities and how to balance the interests of the various parties involved. Actuaries are required by law to certify the valuation of the pension plan's liabilities. As part of this function, actuaries must develop appropriate assumptions for life expectancy, future returns on invested assets, future changes in salaries, and other factors. Actuaries are normally involved in plan design discussions. They may also provide recommendations to the plan sponsor on funding strategies, consequently. For superannuation Superannuation funds which are also called pension funds, are saving vehicles established for the purpose of providing lump sums or pensions at retirement. Normally actuary will define suitable benefit schemes. Actuary must make assumptions about the future and required on investment earning, future salary, rate of employees, mortality rate and other rates of decrement. Actuary will set contribution rate which is a similar task to pricing insurance contract. The fourth type is property and casualty insurance or widely known general insurance. General insurance actuaries provide expertise in three main areas. First, reserving. Actuaries apply statistical techniques to assess the likely outcome of general insurance liabilities and the provisions that are needed for reporting purposes. Second, pricing. Actuaries assesses the frequency and average amount of claims to estimate premiums. Third, capital modeling. Actuaries projects both the liability and assets of insurers to assess solvency and future capital needs. General insurance is broadly divided into two areas which are, personal lines and commercial lines. Personal lines. Personal lines are products designed to be sold in large quantities, such as motor insurance, household insurance, pet insurance and creditor insurance. Commercial lines. Commercial lines are products which are usually designed for relatively large legal entities. These include workers' compensation, employers' liability, public liability, product liability, commercial fleet and other general insurance products. There are many companies that supply comprehensive commercial insurance packages for a wide range of different industries, including shops, restaurants and hotels. Lastly is Enterprise Risk Management. Enterprise Risk Management or, ERM, is a process by which an organization identifies, monitors, and manages its risks, with the goal of increasing value for their stakeholders. ERM differs from traditional actuarial work in two key areas. First, ERM can apply to any organization or operation, not just an insurance company or a pension plan where actuarial talent is typically used. Second, ERM can apply to risks found in manufacturing companies or non-profit organizations, just to name a couple of examples. ERM is not only restricted to financial risks. There are several other sources of risk such as reputation risk, and operational risk which are not financial in nature, but can have a definite impact on the value of an organization. By bringing these modeling techniques into an ERM framework, Actuaries are able to apply their skills in a new area, and provide insights that may not be present from other disciplines. Here are some websites and book where you can refer to for more information. That's all from these slides. Thank you and hope you will learn something.